Hello guys, welcome to the Randa camp. Uh, my name is Daniel, today we will build this uh, great image. I hope you hear me well, please uh, give some pluses to the chat and we will start. Uh, first of all, I would like to ask you, please share the link to this workshop with your social media account, maybe uh, maybe something like uh, stories, do some stories, do some uh, posts, maybe Facebook, maybe Instagram, may maybe somewhere else, put this uh, link to this workshop um, on, on some groups we, where, where, you, uh, where you read about 3D graphics, this, uh, this will help us to share our information, because for us really important to do this uh, for, uh, for you. Okay, today we will build this image. I will try to explain my um, my my point of view how how I how you how we uh, should think to uh, when we start work with a real project with uh, uh, some interesting project, but not every time we understand what exactly we should do. What what the egg, uh, how our project will looks in the end. That's why I will uh, work today exactly with the um, uh, long explanation explanation of this uh, how I build the real project uh, using reference of course I will start with uh, yes uh, we will work uh, during two hours I think uh, and uh, and uh, we will do every step of the of doing this project we will model it we will uh, work with the reference we will build the main model, we will uh, do the lighting, uh, we will work with the uh, uh, colors, we will work basic colors, we will work with the shaders, we will work with the post-production, I think we will, uh, I think we will, uh, I mean about post-production, because this is most not uh, not important thing in my pipeline, I am work with the uh, um, full uh, full 3D graph graphics, not uh, with uh, not a lot of post production. Maybe a little bit of contrast, maybe a small co color correction. That's that's all. Uh, so let's start to work with. First of all, you should understand this uh, this project was made by me uh, exactly for this workshop. This is not my design. This is a design of uh, American designer, uh, if I remember right, uh, and this guy, uh, this guy, uh, this is interior designer, and uh, I take this, uh, not, of course, not this image, I take this image from his website, probably I found uh, it uh, on the Pinterest, and later I, uh, I do the, oh, not this, maybe I'm, <laughs> I, little bit mistake yeah this one the, that was a reference um, how we work with the reference uh, in the, when we work with the real project this is a good answer of course first of all uh, we work with um, uh, we work with the floor plan floor plan of the building yeah and we receive something like this maybe without colors but never mind and first of all, uh, we need to decide uh, where exactly we will put the camera. Because uh, if we put camera, um, uh, if we don't, uh, it uh, the work uh, can be longer for us. Uh, and we will try to find this camera in the end of the projects. And this is not good for whole um, uh, pipeline of the work. So in the very beginning of the work, we should have a um list of the cameras and uh, uh, we should understand how many cameras we will we will um, give to our client in the end of the work so that means for example uh, here is nice place and that means we should put camera somewhere here and uh, do some uh, uh, do some uh, image from from this point uh, here is uh, some bar or something like this and that means we should play uh, put the camera here and uh, do the image something like this uh, for example this is nice place here this is not um, 
uh, not the floor plan of this project I show I've sh I show you before. This is just floor plan. That means uh, we we should find nice points on our floor plan and work with it with them. Um, not uh, but but not just uh, building whole the pro pro whole pro pro pro, pro, pro blah, 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 project and. Um, uh, try to find nice camera position this is of course this is a mistake that's why uh, we should understand which area we should uh, show in the very beginning of the on the working of the project uh, i hope you understand my point and uh, later when we understand which areas we should show to uh, to client of our client uh we try to find the reference for each of them uh of course when we work with um, uh with the reference work will goes much fast faster because um because we understand what exactly we will need to have in the end because uh i i i think you understand me well when sometimes uh you think this project will I can finish this project uh, in a in a two weeks, for example. But project uh, goes during four months, some something like this. Uh, this is usual situation, yeah. Uh, and that's why uh, R exists because you don't agree with your clients what exactly you will have in the end, uh, in the end of your work. If you agree, we will uh, have this, for example, four renders uh, you have possibility to work with each of them and uh, client understand what exactly he will receive in the end and you understand where will you your where will the finish of the work something like this uh, I hope that you understand okay uh, and when you decide uh, all these points uh, you can go to find the reference sometimes I hear something like uh, but I try to find the reference. This is difficult. I didn't find anything and I start to work without it uh, This is not this is very usual situation, but this is um uh, this situation are happens because uh, You have no enough experience to find in references that mean you should work with this experience of course and of course you every time you should try to find the reference because reference this is explanation how your image should looks in the end uh, which mood uh, are existing on on this reference and of course you can show this reference to your client and um, uh, ask him uh, is it uh, is it right mood we need to have in the end of the work if your client will say something like yes this is exactly what I need. I need to uh, have sunny day. I I would like to show the uh, place uh, around the pool or something like this. Uh, you agreed and you can start the work. But if you uh, if your client say something like no, this is not what exactly I need. Uh, you will uh, you you receive easiest version of. Um, your um, time spent in process so that means um, you don't uh, did uh, not right work already did it so that means uh, of course that, uh, decide what what your client uh, want to receive in the end uh, much faster than do this and show to your client and uh, receive the answer Th that is not what exactly i need i hope you understand my point okay uh let's go uh this is my mm, main ideas and i i always um, use the reference in my work okay let's go to the uh to the max Yes, we will work with uh, 3D Max and Corona Render. I hope you hear this well. Uh, first of all, I uh, I put here reference, just like background. Yeah, F10, 
press F10. Of course, I use a lot of hotkeys and they give me opportunity to work faster. Uh, which resolution here? Uh, I will copy this resolution to 3D Max. I have second screen on the right side. Uh, something like this. Here's a key. Uh, I will work with a little bit different viewport, something like like this. This is I I like this type of viewports. Oh, unfortunately, I should do it before. Mm -hmm. I can off grid. I don't need it for sure. Uh, and here I will start with. Yeah, first of all, I should build uh, uh, this scene. How it how it works. Of course, I can take from another scene, but I will not do this because you have um, uh, because you will do the same in a, when when you will will work with your own pro progress uh, project. So uh, I hope uh, it will help uh, you to to do the same with your real project. Uh, how I will do this at all? Uh, first of all, I I should know some dimension from the from this uh, scene. For example, this uh, armchair. Maybe this not armchair. I'm not sure. I I don't I didn't find uh, this model of the uh, sun bed. Uh, that's why I'm not sure uh, the final dim dimension. But I think this is something like uh, 20, maybe 25 centimeters high, and maybe 160. 1.6 meters uh, long because this is not looks like uh, two meters sun bed. This looks like long armchair. As for me, of course I can be mistaken. Uh, okay, and here I will start the work. Top front, yeah. Oh yeah, one more thing. Of course, in the beginning of the work, I should check the unit setup and uh, check the... I, I use metric uh, system and millimeters here. And for architecture, I always use centimeters here. A little bit useful. Uh, let's start. Here I will use something like 20... Uh, 200 millimeters at 20 centimeters. Uh, let be... 80, 800, uh, and uh, 160 later, yeah, okay, and I will try to, oh, here is uh, orthographic, I, I should uh, change it to perspective, and put it somewhere here, and of course, I will uh, try to work with the uh, uh, perspective match, let's Let's try to put it somewhere here in the place where I have the sun bed on the image. For example, here. Yeah, uh, perspective match. And of course, I always remember a photographer can use uh, uh, some, can fix some perspective troubles in the post production. Of course. And of course, uh, this can be just part of the image. I understand this too. Uh, that means, um, of course, in this image can can be some mistakes, not real uh, camera position. But uh, I understand this and, and I will fix this during my work. Something like this, something like this, pretty good. I will check, check it here, here is, here is a little bit not correct. Here is better. Red lines should be horizontal. Blue lines should be vertical. That's enough, I, I think. But frontal uh, frames always um, not so easy. Yeah, you should uh, correct them. Uh, now I push uh, Ctrl C that build the camera from this view, uh, and this is uh, this is okay for during the work. For continue work, yeah. Uh, let's see which camera angle I have here. 
44. This is, uh, I think, a little bit too much for uh, for this uh, for architecture because 44. This is pretty uh, thin egg angle, but never mind. I will try to build the pool and. Um, I will try to understand is it real situation or not. For example, uh, with uh, I understand from this um, walking rod, uh, something like two meters, maybe less, maybe more, some maybe two meters with a half, maybe one with a half. Uh, this is not a wide pool for kids, maybe something like this. Um, that means I should check this. That's why I uh, convert this model to the uh, editable poly and I will add here some connect. Yeah. And I will move this line to the to this place. And here I understand I have um, uh, less than two meters. This is looks like real and I can have uh, can build second one, second line here move it exactly here be careful with the do not do not um, do not move it uh, up or down be careful everything should be flat yeah uh, yes here is good but I'm not sure I have uh, so big uh, distance from sand bed to these roads maybe half of meter but i'm not sure more uh, can i move it a little bit in front of this yes i can because uh, here is reflection of the of the sun bed can it be like this yes for sure yes uh, let's try to work to go next step for example, I will copy it. Uh, I will put it somewhere here. Uh, I see some little bit different the, the perspective, but of course I understand. Somebody can roll this sun bed, something like this, and uh, this is not. Mm, this sun bed shouldn't be uh, exactly directly uh, parallel with the um, with the with the, for example, pool. Yeah. Let's work with the next point with the building because I understand. Oh, one more thing, one important thing. I should turn on the vertical perspective control. Yeah, this one. And of course, I should a little bit move uh, my sun beds and pool. To another position so we're here okay okay I will delete and make new one because this is faster than change faster to do from from the scratch than uh, change something okay I will convert it again I will add it at I will add here new lines I will add two lines it still looks good yeah but I think I should move it a little bit closer to me to us mm-hmm Yes, that looks much, much better for me. Uh, and I, I, of course, I should think, is it okay to um, put camera here? For example, um, how wide can be this uh, pool? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So a little bit more than 10 meters long. Of course, it can't be. Uh, because sometimes it can be like two meters and this is probably less than should be 
uh, and it should can be like uh, yeah I, I mean model after a perspective match it can be like uh, 1000 meters and of course this is more than we need uh, the, you should be careful with this uh, let's go next uh, to to check the height of the building uh, 4 with a 5 so that is that is i think that is okay of course this is not uh, two meters with a half uh, uh, like usual uh, flat but this is not a usual flat uh, so let's go to the to the to the next next point uh, i will add i will uh, i will do this wall higher maybe to the uh, to this point that is okay yeah 10 meters why not uh i will do it wider i will do it deeper and maybe a little bit uh, i see this line so uh, right now i i know where the building finished something like here but of course this is not one line because here is columns uh, and uh, this uh, part of the facet a little bit deeper so this is not important right now of course uh, we need to just be careful with the logic uh, okay let's go next uh, what's next next this wall i think we can try to build it somewhere here maybe not exactly here maybe maybe deeper i think this dimension should be bigger because because of trees we we have uh, we will have uh, we need to have a lot of space for add here these trees yeah so that looks good i think do you like this please give me some give me some noise please on the chat uh please uh, uh you ask me to make it a little bit loud loudy i can i can do it a little bit loudy i was asking in the beginning do you hear me well please give me uh, your opinion about it hello from philippines hello maybe maybe you can write where are you from guys on the chat it will be uh, nice for us we will understand who listen us right now uh let's do it like this let's front yeah like this and i will make small hill here something like this let it be uh, and of course I will make it longer because I need uh, uh, this is something like end of the end of the of the hill or something like this Ukraine India Brazil Kiev Ukraine, Iran, Morocco, Saudi Arabia, hello, Bangladesh, Ukraine, India, Colombia, uh, Bangladesh, nice to meet you guys. Uh, okay, let's, let's do something. Uh, let's go next uh, of course everything here I like and I should uh, add here some circle I will add it here I think I will make it a little bit bigger I understand he stand exactly uh, in between of these uh, sun baths Maybe closer to this one. 
maybe not so big, a little bit smaller, maybe higher, something like this. Let it, let leave it in this, in here. Uh, okay, let's change the render because I have another render uh, like by default. Uh, okay, I will add here something like Chrono Legacy. And I will add uh, this uh, shader to whole scene. Uh, I will do it a little bit grayer. I will start with a 70. I will, every time I add a little bit of reflection, something like this one, and I will uh, make it less. Something like glossiness, I will make less, something like 0, 06. Uh, that's okay. That will be my gray material. Exactly this. Not 120. This is very important thing. One, uh, just 70. 70, maybe 60, 80, something like this. But not less. Uh, not higher. Uh, okay, let's go next. Next we need to build the, um, build the trees, I think, because we need to... Uh, I, I think we need to... Maybe maybe with a pool because he is a big i will make it fast just simple hole in the middle of the ground just for a beginning of course I uh, will make it with a okay I uh, I think I don't need this box but I will uh, work with it later uh, something like this and second point this is uh, my building and the trees first of all I will work with the building because uh, this is big thing but not so uh, important in our frame because uh, our frame talks um, ex have story not about building building this is some additional information you know some side information uh, of course this uh, frame about the pool and about rest around the pool so we should work exactly with it um, that mean building not the the main um, uh, object here uh, that's why I uh, work with um, uh, Quixel Bridge with the uh, Megascans models. Uh, when you will work with your real project, of course, you, your architect uh, will give your, you uh, some special model of your real project. Right now, I don't have uh, uh, any reason to build some special architecture. This is about mood. That's why I just use these uh, bridge models. I, uh, I, I will download, uh, upload, I think, this model, export it successfully. That means I will wait. Italy, Dnipro, India, Cambodia, Mexico, Turkey, Nice to meet you guys, really. I'm glad to see you here. And welcome to the Randa Camp. Okay, I will move it here. Maybe I change the color because it will be helpful for, for me a little bit later. Uh, let's add here another model. For example, the balcony. Prasil. What else? Maybe something... No? Just this? I'm not... I probably not remember, but exactly I will... Uh, I was taken... I was take last time when I did this project. Uh, but this is not so important. Uh, I will work with, with this. I think this will be enough. 
I will add the balcony here, uh, another color here. Of course, I will move the balcony higher. Of course, I will move all of these uh, objects somewhere here. Let's road it. Almost all of them. 90 degrees. I always use uh, uh, capturing by 5, 5 degrees. 45, this is too much. One is too uh, not comfortable to work with. One. Mm. This is corner. Yeah. Okay, I don't need it. This is a column. I think I, I will use it later. This is a part of the wall. Of course, I will use it later too. Okay, let's work with the, this, the, this object. I, I think I will move it a little bit back. Yeah, of course I will make it bigger because I have bigger uh, windows. And probably this is not window. But Never mind for me right now. I will make it bigger like this. Of course, if I uh, will have real architecture, I will add uh, this real architecture here, uh, first of all. But I don't. That's why I work with uh, uh, this element. I will make it bigger too, little bit. Yeah, I will put it on the on the top of this uh, architectural element. And I think I will move it in front of this door or something like this. And I think no, no. Maybe bigger because I would like uh, to have um, good proportion. I think. Yeah, that looks good, better than before. Uh, and let's let's make it transparent with the Alt Alt X. Yeah, let's add here column, some some column. Let's check with the which proportion I I will copy this number. I will add here the same number. Okay, that helps me uh, a little bit easier connect this uh, column to the to this wall, something like this. Yeah. If I need add the uh, wall here, but probably I'm not sure I need to uh, have this wall because I can copy uh, these columns, something like this, or maybe not columns, maybe, oh, one more thing, maybe like this one, yeah, it will, I, it will be, I think, better. Okay, that looks good. And I will have a place for add here flowers on the wall. That's good for, for, for the sand scene. Of course, I will copy this, both of these elements, I think. I think that's enough for our scene. I will delete this wall I have I have before I, that's enough that's enough for me for this scene of course this is not exactly architecture on the reference but I don't need it I I need to see I need to um, 
to do the I need to do the the smooth of the image so fast as I can uh, to start work with my real geometry of the project. Okay, let's work with the uh, with the pool because we have here a lot of additional objects. Uh, I think I will start with uh, I will delete all of these. I will add here a few connections like this. Mm -hmm. I will add chamfer here. Not not big, not small. Triangle. 20, let it be 25, 5 centimeters, that's okay. Uh, and of course, I will, I will add here some input. Because I, I would like to add some small geometry here. Do you see this seam? That means I need to do it. And one more thing, guys. Of course, I will answer all your questions, but in the end of the workshop, okay? Because uh, if I will um, broke the uh, path, path of things, uh, we will try to find it long time. I think that is okay. And I think here will will be our pool. Not not here. Probably not here. Because 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 I would like to add here one more line. Yeah. For sure, yes. I forget about it. Let's connect here. Do you know um, a few um, a few uh, companies, a few Publix give me a word for this word work Probably I do it exactly for this workshop, but they uh, Do this for me. I'm pretty glad to receive it, but Without but of course I I'm glad to receive it uh, Let's um, Do it in this way Is it okay right now or not? No. I will add one more insert here. Yeah. That's that's enough. With a shift I will go down. Something like five centimeters, maybe more, little bit more. Yes, of course. Now it's better. I will add here a few stairs. Not so much, something like maybe two, maybe three. I think this is enough. Uh, Mm -hmm. 
something like this something like this and of course I will maybe I will add one more stair of course I will move it move them a little bit later and of course I I can I can work only with the, this level without these lines I don't need it I don't need them here by angle something like half of meter for kids just for kids maybe 30 35 centimeters Uh, here is enough. Uh, I think uh, here should be something like let's let's change the color, maybe blue. Yeah, it will be better. One with a half. That's okay. I was move this minus thirty-five. Yeah, and maybe here I will make it deeper. Maybe stairs I will make longer. This is probably not enough, uh, not so important right now because when we we will add water, we will uh, see this how deep it should be. And of course, I will add. Uh, I will do something like. Um, <laughs> maybe from the top, it will be more accurately. And I will check the dimension on the bottom of my screen. I will add here something like uh, 500 cent, cent. Oh, I have a reference, of course. I will, <laughs> I will use exactly this uh, dimension. From another side, the same. And here I will add the same size of the border. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here it looks like nice. Uh, turn off this here I can make some smart thing I will uh, uh, do the ring I will do connect and with the control I will go to polygon it will be easier to to choose all of these um, uh, connections uh, polygons extrude minus never mind how much minus stuff uh, 100 Minus star, and I can delete, for example, this one. This will looks better, I think. Mm -hmm. That's okay. And uh, later, I will. Why later? I can add here right now water. Uh, uh, for example, from this place. And for example, to this place, yeah. Later, I will connect it to uh, editable poly and go down. 
something like this. Of course, I need to have water a little bit higher than full because uh, it should go from this place to this place. Yeah, something like here. Okay, uh, water should be bigger than the pool. This is uh, my uh, shaders of the building. Of course, I will use it. Uh, I will add new uh, view uh, building. Okay. And I will add here exactly these shaders from this model, from this model, and from this model. Okay. Here I will add uh, some water shader. It will be like usual glass, nothing special for now. And of course I will put here the this glass material. Okay. Uh, what's next? Next is uh, the uh, I I think I need to add here this um, these elements. This is not so important for this image. I'm pretty sure. Uh, you know I I I will not add it here. Uh, I think. You probably know how to do this. I don't want to spend so much time to do this. I will add, I will put here some rectangle, and this is enough. Maybe box. Yeah, and of course, that means ground should be lower, maybe five centimeters lower, maybe minus, minus. 50 millimeters mm -hmm. and here I here I can make maybe divide this box to the two different boxes now something like this it will looks more detailed okay here I will add uh, the high yeah looks be uh, should look like this uh, and of course I don't need the ground between the between the pool but one more one important thing um, I will add here grass that's why I, I don't need the grass in the uh, in the middle of the pool not in the middle of course but in the middle of the sidewalk Let's work with a three. Yeah, that looks good. That looks better. And of course, I will delete here uh, this uh, smoothing because this I don't like it. I will add just smoothing out of smooth. That's enough. Yeah. Not turbo smooth. This is just smoothing groups. Uh, okay, I don't need this creed. That's why I delete them. What's here? Some mistake now. No, everything's okay. Uh, of course, I will add here some our gray material. This why? No, uh, this one. Uh, okay. Here is uh, some. Additional object I don't need them. I think everything is okay right now. Technically, that is exactly what I need. Uh, next step that is uh, trees. Yeah, let's let's add here the trees. Uh, of course, I will show which uh, what the trees I um, uh, I use. Uh, I will tell you uh, all of these trees is uh, trees from the. Um, Max 3 uh, models. Uh, library number 15, uh, 80, 77, 
I just bought uh, 97, this is uh, pretty fresh, and uh, the old one with the grass, it's 20. Uh, so, I will upload to my scene uh, some of these models. I will upload uh, this one from this model. Uh, here I upload... Uh, I don't remember which of these models, but I think this one. Uh, that was my uh, bushes, and I add them here just because I don't have enough, not enough time to found these bushes and these bushes. Uh, but of course, for this uh, grass wall or plant wall, I will add additional uh, another model, uh, something like. From here, but this is not only here. I can found them. Here is the first model I found. Uh, that's uh, this one I use on the in the left side of the image somewhere here, and I uh, choose. I I don't remember. Maybe this one. Maybe this one. Let's let's try to work with this one. Never mind, I will um, uh, change the materials and other things. And from this uh, pretty fresh for me uh, library, I take, I don't remember, I think maybe this one, maybe some of this one. I don't really, I don't remember. I like this one, I will use this. Before you will uh, add uh, any models to your scene, uh, you should add uh, the um, uh, project pass. That means uh, you should add the texture, um, project pass for the textures. I already uh, upload here all project pass, for example 77, uh, 20, 50, uh, 37, uh, maybe... Uh, I don't remember, but probably I absolutely sure I have uh, all I need models here. Yeah. And of course, I have, um, I already do the collector set for uh, about main scene. So I will have possibility to add here my folder from the project. For example... Jake Arnold, th this is the name of designer of this project. Uh, textures, and I will put it here. So that means all textures from this folder will be added to my uh, models. That's that's okay. Right now I have possibility to add here my models, uh, models I need. Kakos, uh, I, I don't understand these names, but... I, I will add it to my scene. I will move uh, this PDF to another screen. Uh, this is uh, number 50. Mm, mesh Corona. I will explain your uh, uh, your question uh, about... I will explain your question about um, uh, why I am choose Corona. I am not choose Corona. Corona, this is just... Uh, uh, pretty often use it uh, render, that's why I use the Corona here. But probably this is not important. We are talking not about Corona, we're talking about uh, how to do the beauty image. Uh, Kakos number three. This one, yeah. I will add it here. I should wait while this model will be loaded here. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, let's go next. I will add here next uh, palm. Uh, I, I think I need 
these palms. I probably I didn't find uh, uh, models looks like this one. That's why I a little bit changed it. But uh, without but uh, I didn't find it. If you will find it, you will be great. Uh, but from another from 97 I, I I think I think that was somewhere here yeah that was exactly this one uh, of course I can uh, uh, do it with the computer from this scene but uh, here I rebuild the models and here I rebuild the shaders. That why that's why I would like to uh, add um, the model exactly from the uh, from the folder because I will rebuild the shaders again. And this is important. I will show you why and I will show you how. Yeah, let's go to the. 97 that was number six something like this one yeah apply to uh, oh this is not oh forget about it little bit of coke yeah that's good uh, what's next I need uh, another palms from this from this folder I think I will I will add this one hmm. that was first one yeah this one merge file Of course, when I uh, work with uh, build the, building this um, uh, project for um, when I was uh, when I work with this image exactly, uh, I found in these uh, models longer. But right now, all of them um, already found it, so I can do it much faster. Looks good. Let's add here uh, this model number eighty folder num number eighty uh, uh, number eighty. That's Corona, Corona. Mm -hmm. let's check it is it right i'm not sure no yeah this is right let's add it here portugal here love this channel i love you portugal Um, let's go next. Uh, what exactly I need? Uh, I need this, uh, this, uh, 
I already show it. Let's. This is seventy-seven. Seventy-seven. Where were you? Yeah. Corona. Seventy-seven. Which name of you? Vaku. I hate these names. Absolutely, yeah. I know the reason why they called uh, with these names, and this is okay, but that not helps me to understand these names. When you like to use a storm over the corona? This is a difficult question. Right now it's a difficult question. I'm not love of storm more than Corona. Uh, I not love Corona more than of storm. This is uh, different tools for work. Uh, what's next? I uh, I need to, to have this left uh, bushes. This one. Let's found them. This that that what this one. Solarium oh. seventy seven. Ah, uh, that was first one. Yeah, let's add it here. Thank you guys, I'm pretty happy to hear or read these words, this is very important for me. That's why I'm asking you, please share the link for this workshop, because we are trying a lot, we are working a lot to doing um, such great information to you. Uh, please help us to share this information. Uh, I think that's, that's everything I need, let's check. Uh, I need uh, grass, yeah, I need grass and uh, of course uh, elements from to the for the pool, but this is later. Uh, grass, grass, this is uh, 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 folder number 20 and I was, here was a very smart uh, thing. Please wait uh, to this moment. I will show you small secret about uh, doing a grass, because uh, you have um, you always ask how to do the flat, uh, flat uh, grass, and uh, you don't have any uh, ideas how to do this. It always looks not flat, not for, not like somebody just cut all the grass. But a lot of situation when situation when you need this type of grass. I am looking for this model. I'm not happy. Of this, I'm not happy of this. I think I need to have it lower. Maybe like like this one. Let's check what, what I have. Because all other looks a little bit not like, not what I need. Probably I lost it. Maybe this one. Yeah, let's, let's take this one. Uh... This is not, not so important which one you will use. Uh, you will take uh, most important next thing. Uh, that should be number 20. 20. Uh, Mesh Corona.
cool. Number one. Yeah, exactly this one. I will add it here. Merge file. Of course, this is long work, not so interesting, but we should do this, of course. Yeah. Let's add the uh, let's change the colors of the greenery. Because if because if not it will be more difficult to understand where we where we see right now what what we look right now. Where we look right now. My English is so perfect, but this lesson not about English. That helped. That understanding helped me a little bit. That's okay. Uh, let's work with the um, uh, other model, something like this one. I will take it from uh, uh, from this uh, from from here. Yeah, I will group it and I will take it exactly from this scene because uh, I don't remember where I take it. This is just a sun bed and just a uh, simple, I don't know, for furniture you can find it anywhere. I will use capiter, I will copy it here and I will open the same Peter on my scene and copy it here okay let's let's wait in and right now I will work with the with the with the trees I think or with the bushes yeah let's work with the bushes I will add it here Of course I will change dimensions and of course I will try to do it carefully. Something like this, that's okay. Uh, too, too big here, but never mind. This is a real plant should grow like 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 he want nobody ask him yeah maybe closer to the door no no here is better yeah uh i will add the uh these palms to the uh, background and uh, i will Mm, divide this model because inside this model we have three palm of course this is too much for uh, this is not comfortable to use all of them that's why I will divide this model to different objects detach okay second one Uh, I know these palms very well because uh, we uh, pretty often work with uh, uh, projects with the palms, something like um, some hotels, some uh, I I don't know a lot of different uh, tasks exactly close to the sea with the ocean with a nice blue sky. This is our uh, famous client. Uh, word add at least nice blue sky we love this phrase we hear we hear it something like uh, eight years <laughs> almost every uh, I know I don't know 100 times a week this add here nice blue sky my favorite uh, yeah let's add this 
uh, palms here. Here's important thing will be. I will roll this. And of course I will move this wall a little bit far. Because I don't see the uh, when this uh, element uh, begins. But probably I sh uh, I need have a space for this. For this wall and not so wide of course i don't i don't need to do it so wide let's check how it looks uh yeah i will copy this palms and uh let's let's do it like here one important thing uh if you have building please check mo moments like this you can con control it of course and try to be careful with uh, uh, this type of leaves. So if you have this type of the problem, this is nothing important. Of course, okay, nobody see this. But of course, uh, uh, this is the problem. You shouldn't do like this. And and you shouldn't do like this. This is absolutely symmetrical model. Of course, this is a problem. This is not good. Both of these moments you can check. Some of these uh, models should be somewhere uh, on the on the other side of the of the fans. Something like this. It will looks better. And of course, I will move it a little bit because I would like to see this. Uh, vertical line of course this is not exactly like in uh, original model I can move or I will move model or I will move um, uh, the palms better something like this yeah next one is uh... oh where is my wall yeah this is my huge wall We will grow up it something like one million times bigger. Looks good. And of course I will copy it and I will roll it a little bit to... to uh, no, because I don't need to... Uh, I don't want to uh, upload a lot of different models. I would like to use one single model. That's why I will make it a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller and in the in the end I will have um, something looks like I need. Yeah. That looks good and exactly like with the... Uh, of course I need to do it like... It can be... looks like in real life. Of course we can't work like this. No, no, any bush grow with the palms. This is an important thing, of course. Everybody understand this, and this is not real. Uh, and the palm shouldn't grow from the from the from the bush. Okay. Uh, maybe this object already copied to computer. Yeah, that's okay. Let add it here. Oh, computer. I will push this button okay and i will put this um exactly almost in this place in the same place if you will find better um, furniture it will be good for you nothing important for this moment and of course i will move this uh, some uh, elements uh, some uh, elements inside the pool a little bit in front of us somewhere here and of course i will correct it a little bit later when i will add uh, the uh, water and uh, when i will start work with the render of course i uh, i should do this uh, and this one i think this is this is enough for now uh, i will add here a gray material 
I will add the glass material because I will uh, work with uh, with this um, with shader of the water in the same like uh, like uh, glass. Uh, what else? What else? Ah, uh, I need to add here gray material. My gray material, this one, yeah. And the next step, I will add here the sun. Corona, Corona sun. And I will put here, put it here. I will, I always put the sun somewhere, not, not in the middle of the scene. I will add it somewhere here, yeah. Let's start to look like, like it look. Thank you guys. I'm I'm pretty glad to read these words. Yeah, yes, really. Thank you so. And of course we are waiting for uh, some render because a lot of uh, shaders, a lot of everything uh, uploading right now to the to the 3D Max. Yeah. Of course I will make my sun a little bit not so bright. And of course I can add here uh, some this new tool from the uh, Corona 8 oh excuse me uh, let's control it here mm -hmm. uh, I will move the Sun a little bit uh, in uh, to the right side and here is most important thing uh, I will explain you what exactly uh, I will I, I need to I need to decide where the Sun will exist I would like to add the most nice um, light and shadow composition that's why I will move it a little bit in in front of me and uh, and uh, to the back side and of course I can check how it looks in the original uh, place in the original uh, reference for example here is shadow that mean uh, that's mean the Sun little bit in in front of me uh, opposite of me but little bit something like this one yeah let's let's check this I I should take from the uh, from original sin everything mm, he can give me probably I like it I I'm not sure I like this hole but maybe I can make it lower something like or double it I don't know uh, let's leave it right now uh, I will uh, put the put the palms into their more useful positions pivot point pivot point yes center to object I will move it here and here is good yeah uh, of course I will add I will try to uh, receive the same shape of the palms uh, that mean palms shouldn't be higher than my screen yeah my uh, higher level of the image uh, that's mean I will make it little bit or lower or smaller I think both of these I would like move a little bit left side yeah somewhere here uh, here's too big and move it left to to cover this hole yeah uh, I will move this palm here to close for us yeah and of course smaller not so uh, 
and of course I should check um, these uh, moments because this is not natural of course this looks good uh, let's copy a few palms more maybe not this I I like this much more and of course I should roll it a little bit uh, maybe lower I don't like these leaves so I will roll it a little bit yeah right now it looks better maybe maybe smaller and maybe not okay let's go next let's work with them later I will copy next palm instead of course I copy all of them with instance uh, <clears throat> I don't like this hole of course I will uh, I would like to cover it somehow so big smaller little bit smaller maybe higher maybe to the left here is small holes we see too but in the original uh, image we have holes too that's not not a problem but we should take a lot of uh, small details from the scene and understand how it works uh, why this image looks good maybe that's why maybe uh, the reason is uh, position of the palms maybe position of the sun of course uh, the reason everything of this okay I will leave it here and that palm should should be somewhere here maybe not uh, this palm a little bit goes to the to the right side I don't like it maybe something like this and shadows goes here maybe not I don't need shadows here that's why I will move it a little bit in front of me and let's uh, copy it here because I need uh, uh, receive shadows here and I uh, I need uh, receive some palm here and small shadows let's move it a little bit Of course I don't see shadows here okay never mind I don't see that means I don't see uh, and uh, I think I will take one of these palms and add them here to receive uh, shadows uh, in in front of pool somewhere here maybe smaller that looks much better and probably I like this and of course somewhere here I need to have uh, some kind of some kind of shadows I will roll it a little bit yeah uh, that's what I'm called uh, um, light and shadow composition we do not we, we not just put the trees on the somewhere on the ground we build the light and shadow composition this is most important thing please uh, uh, understand this and please be careful with this uh, and of course I would like uh, add the different ISO uh, to the water because water have should should have uh, less um, 
refraction I saw but that is not enough for us I should make higher our steps I will of course a little bit later but I will what's next uh, bushes I would like to add here bushes that will be I will take the bushes from this tree I will try to uh, be careful with uh, these branches. Some of them I will make smaller because in uh, closer bushes should be smaller I think I think maybe not I will add one more maybe not one And uh, I will add them here. Of course, I understand in the original scene I have uh, um, here bigger and probably different uh, type of uh, bushes. But I don't have enough time to find so much uh, bushes. Uh, of course, you can, you can do it if you want. If you will have more types of bushes, it will be better for... Uh, your project for me this is not so necessary right now because um, I, I I would like to explain you my um, way of thoughts path path of thoughts here is nice place for who put the bushes here but I would like to receive some bushes in the sun. Low, maybe closer to us. Maybe some of them now, unfortunately. But okay, never mind. Uh, but I like these shadows on the uh, palm bark trunk. Yeah, that looks good. I like this and we have uh, we can go next point uh, what's next point next point this is uh, lighting because this is not uh, whole lighting this is just a light and shadow composition <clears throat> of course we, we need to add here some uh, additional light mm, light of the sky uh, I know a lot of guys love absolutely in love with um, uh with the corona sky i i'm not one of them uh i absolutely love uh, use hdri maps but uh, exactly here i'm not sure we need it that's why uh with the sunny days i pretty often use uh, just color this much faster than hdri and much faster than not much but little bit faster than uh, skies uh, only one I need from the uh, from the sky this is a color of the shadow that's why I will add here a little bit of the uh, of the shadows uh, but uh, first of all of course I will add here some uh, background uh, I will ask, answer you right now uh, for example we will uh, we will can do this kind of mistake mm, after save we, we should wait uh, I will open this image with uh, Photoshop and I will show you this mistake I will demonstrate it to you uh, 
I will I delete all the colors and here we see the light and shadow composition exactly light and shadow without colors because uh, saturation of the colors um, give gives us a little bit broken uh, opinion about uh, uh, about colors everybody uh, for example here we some of us can say uh, what the brighter of course not everybody but some of us can't say uh, what the darker uh, trees or uh, for example sky when we delete the colors we can do this for sure uh, palms should be much darker than sky uh, that what we need to um, uh, add to our picture and uh, let's let's understand what the lighter sky or uh, lighted house for example i'm absolutely sure lighted house that we can try to do too uh, here we don't have this uh, this kind of difference and of course, this is a big mistake for us. Uh, let's work with it. Uh, how we can work with it? Of course, first of all, we can uh, do not so powerful sun. I will, I will make it just one. Yeah, here is much darker. What else? Of course, I can make a darker um, gray material. Seventy, it's pretty a lot. Let's add here fifty, and we should try to make it closer to this. Let's let's do some print screen here. Yeah, it will be e easier to compare. Okay. And let's go to the uh, to here. Mm -hmm. Here is absolutely white. He shouldn't be white. He will be a little bit, little bit colored for sure. That's why I will go. Uh, I will do higher exposure. Maybe one. No. Ah, one more thing. Ma one more important thing. We add uh, ACS. Uh, here of course uh, he add here a lot of contrast but probably i'm not sure i love it so much as usual user of this software uh, i will add it not with 100 percent i will use it with 0.2 something like uh, next point i will add here some contrast something like three it will give me contrast and later, of course, I will uh, have possibility to add here a uh, little bit more of exposure. And right now I understand my dynamic um, of the lighting a little bit better than before. Let's check how it was. Here is, as you, as you can see, I should do it more deeper. Yeah, uh, of course I will try to make the sun brighter and I always will check the result of course here shadows uh, darker but uh, I have much darker uh, the uh, the pool the tiles in the pool uh, that mean I will add it later and of course I should have uh, much darker um uh, palms but i have no possibility to change the color because i do it with a um, uh, i i do it with the um, mtl override i can add here only one override color uh, shader that mean i will add different uh, uh, color to the building and uh, other elements around building for example, pool. Uh, for example, pool building. Of course, I have this. Already have this 
shaders. That's why I don't afraid delete the model from from it. Okay, and I will uh, copy this shader. I will add this shader to the selected models. And uh, this is very important. Please be uh, be careful right now and uh, listen to me carefully because this is very important thing. Uh, and I will exclude this object from the uh, MTL override. Oh. I, I do uh, some mistake. Let's add here bash. Um, a little bit different way. I will delete this model because I put the um, shader. Uh, this is not right. One more thing, one more very important thing. I should uh, do the physical uh, Corona camera. Oh uh, yes, targeted. Seems okay. Uh, corona camera, select camera. Um, okay. I forget about it. But I always do this in the moment when I start to render something. Oh. And I will check the uh, camera angle. Something like this one. And I will add it. Somewhere here. Let's check if it's the same. Corona. Uh, one more thing. Uh, corona should have a vertical tile too. Physical camera. Corona camera. Uh, corona camera. Little bit far, but not so important. This not broke the uh, composition. This is a top. This is a front. Maybe perspective, but not important for it in this case. So, yeah. Uh, let let's start the render again. Yeah. Yes. And of course, I will make this uh, one uh, material of the building and the uh, of the pool darker. Maybe I will add darker pool. Uh, exactly inside of this hole because uh, here I have two bright place. I don't need them. Hey guys, are you alive? Give me some noise to the chat. Please. Because I don't want to talk with only with myself. Uh, bloom. Let's open them. Yeah, here I will make brighter. Mm -hmm. Maybe not uh, one fifty, but one twenty, one hundred twenty, twenty. That's that's okay. And of course, all. Maybe not all. Oh, I forget about one important object. About this wall. This wall should be white too. Yeah. What else? Nothing. Are you sure? I'm not. But... Never mind. Let's let's do uh, next important thing. I will take this shader and I will make it green. Of course, I will change the color of the 
uh, of the pool later right now is not so important but i i need to receive uh, the final emotion of the image and probably right now i uh, don't uh, work with the building i work only with the trees this is most important thing Yoohoo! Thank you guys. I see your comments right now. This is very important for me, really. Really guys, if you if you like our workshop, my workshop, this workshop, please. I'm I'm very uh, I would like to ask you, please, uh, share the link for this workshop because very important for us. Right now, Share this link maybe with stories, maybe something like this. Uh, show to your friends we do here, what we do here. Uh, I'm absolutely sure they will uh, happy to connect to us. I will uh, do a little bit lower exposure. I will try to make low make lower sun because this is too strong too bright for me uh, here i have um, 120 but looks like more than 180 i will add here 006 maybe more a little bit more of course one yeah because I, I still should have sunny day. Okay. Let's go next. Uh, um, I don't uh, use darker value than 20. Never. If I... Uh, of, of course, um, if I need uh, some metals i can't do this but mm, not about uh, trees not about sofa not about uh, furniture nothing like this yeah and right now it looks exactly what i need uh yeah do you look do you like it i'm absolutely yes let's uh let's work with the pool little bit I will stop the render. I will add here two different shaders because um, because I need this. I will go to the polygon. Uh, grow, grow, grow not this is too much yeah here is it one more grow yeah that's that's everything i need uh and i will add here for example this shader this copy of this shader and uh, in the in the middle oh one more thing this element should be uh, grow and I will add the same shader. Yeah, that's okay. And I will copy it uh, and I will uh, I will do the some interesting thing. I will take the shader from this model. Yeah uh, This is exactly what I have right now uh, One of them. This is white. This is green. I don't need here green. I will break this uh connection and i will add here another copy of this first one that that's how i can check uh choose uh, uh, these polygons and of course i will make it much more darker later i will add here some color yeah that's okay 
let's go to the render back go to the go back to the render Oh, and of course, I should uh, yeah, do something like this. Of course, later I will add color, but right now I don't need it. Uh, for my composition, I will... Add it, add them to, and accept them. Yeah, this is good. And next step, I think uh, right now I will make it darker because I would like to have this balance of the colors and I think I will add the color here because uh, probably I I need to have more reflection I have uh, I should have here some color 20 and I will change the color of course I will try to make it the same like on the render something like here darker yeah here's looks better yeah what's else we need to do here of course one most important thing translucency of the uh, of the greenery so let's go here and I will add this color to the translucency color I will uh, check which uh, size of translucency I I need use for example 0 06 uh, 0 05 and of course I will make maybe not of course but I will make it little bit lighter I will make it little bit more saturated and I will make it little bit um, closer to yellow. No, maybe not so. We need to we need to check. Of course, uh, not every shader will looks great with the uh, with this type of shader. And of course, right now almost last moment when I can move the uh, sun because later it will be it will broke the for example here I absolutely like uh, the shader but here is shadow everywhere I don't like it I would like to I will try to make it a little bit more powerful because yeah here is better here is much better maybe maybe too much palms here I'm not sure I understand what I what's going on here maybe too much palms maybe uh, I will move this palm to the left side, uh, right side. I would like to receive more uh, yeah, that looks good. Much better. Of course I will add here 
this effect but I, I still try to check the background first of all maybe not so high contrast because this is too much right right now okay right now it looks very interesting but of course i should add here some color because my shadows should have um small blue nice blue color that's why i will add here color of the sky but very important thing i uh, here i work with the uh, uh, lighting of the background uh, but directly visible background will be black because because of uh, aliasing we should uh, work but this will be the last step right now we work only with the white uh, let's let's see what we have right now too too much green inside this blue color too deep shadows and a lot mm, too too much shadows here but of course we will change the color of the bushes we, we will make it lighter but never mind yeah here is more comfortable to watch on this image yeah here is better maybe i will move this um bushes because i like the shape of them but i don't like the shadows of them yeah I like this much more and of course uh, maybe smaller maybe go closer to the pool yeah that's okay last one that's grass uh, I will stop the render I will uh i will open the um, uh, force pack where is it where is my force pack where are you ah on the right side nice nice to meet you guy hello camera clipping no I never use camera clipping i don't know why but i don't like it uh, and of course i will add geometry here uh, recommend to use proxy mode okay uh, let's go surface i will put here zero i will add here transform a little bit but smaller 95 105 because i don't need to have a big difference between grass uh different elements of inside the grass what else uh distribution yeah full and of course i will make it smaller um I will I will take the sun and I will start the render because 
uh, I would like to check which uh, settings will look good with the, exactly this grass. And of course, I think I will make it smaller and I will make one uh, interesting thing. Oh, I should have... Um, uh, my pool too. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, I pretty often meet the question how to work with the corner of the some uh, elements like here. For example, when I will um, when I will add more uh, elements of the grass, it will um, grass will be can will be will go th through the tiles of the pool. Uh, of course. This, this is not okay. I don't know why I can ch choose them. Forty. Let's do it. Closer. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, I I just will make it a little bit lower. Minus 50, minus 80, maybe. And I will work a little bit with the grass. Probably right now I have... I didn't have this problem. Uh, but never mind. I will make more flat grass. Where is it? One more smart thing. I will delete some part of the grass elements. And grass will look like cut it. It's very stupid, but work it thing. But of course, right now I see holes between grass elements and I will... change I will change the uh, this uh, size I, I think 12 maybe this is too much maybe not maybe 60 60 thousand 16. Yeah, right now looks good. Let's go next. Uh, and one more thing I don't like. One more thing I don't like Corona. Uh, I will show you something when we uh, turn off this fast preview we see small difference between colors here you see more co more colder color colors here we see much warmer co colors I don't know why but uh, Corona 8 um, do this and I don't like this that's why I will turn on turn off this um, setting right now uh, what's next? Next, I will work with the. I don't know. Uh, I I I I would like to do something with the light. Maybe move the sun a little bit closer to us because. Um, I don't know. F 
for example here here is much better right now here here i see this translucency and looks better than but no here it looks the same okay let's let's leave it in this way uh let's go i i think let's go next uh i will work with um with the shaders yeah I have a lot of questions from from you guys uh, when everybody asks me, Daniel, why you always broke the shaders from the uh, from the models? You can use these shaders, and uh, pretty often they looks good. Not the best in the world, but good. I right now I I will explain you why uh, this is um, bad idea. Uh, I will show you this. Uh, I will uh, turn off MTL override, and we will show, we will see how the um, shaders not connected to each other. So uh, each of them uh, looks good without everything else. Uh, everything, uh, every of them looks uh, good when the element alone. But unfortunately. Uh, not unfortunately, uh, for example, in this picture, we can see all of the grass or all, all of the greenery looks similar. Of course, not exactly the same, but similar. Uh, the similar mm, lighted, the similar color, the similar... All of them pretty similar. But uh, right now we start, we'll, we will start work with the... Uh, see how it looks in the real life and right now we see no any uh, shader not connected to each other for example this one not connected to this one uh, this one not connected to the grass not connected to any other shader for example this shader not connected to any other shader in the scene and this is a problem because right now we will start where is our problem in and of course, we will go to uh, change, uh, for example, light in source, we will change the sun, but this is not a problem of the sun. This is a problem of not connected shaders. That's why we should uh, work with a single shader and rebuild every shader one by one. Of course, this is a little bit longer but that will give us a nice result really nice result that is much more important than um, you know we, we should work uh, not only fast we we should think not only about speed of our work uh, we should try to work uh, only uh, we, with the same object work work only once not twice if we build the sun uh, if we build the uh, light and shadow composition we can't waste time to rebuild it we should work with the, this light and shadow composition uh, that's pretty understandable I think uh, okay that's why I will start with the uh, side objects for example this um, uh, building because i already have this uh, model here is just two shaders uh, and this is a big part of the image so why not uh, which one is the balcony i will try this one i i'm i'm not sure yeah here this i will add here just um uh, color correction it will be general oh general color correction I love work with it I, lo I love the result I would like to open this reference and go to the left screen, right screen, excuse me, uh, saturation. 
last saturation. Uh, and I don't like this red color inside uh, inside it because and I will a little bit change hue of it something like this yeah and of course I will I will change uh, gamma position I will make it lower because I want to to make it um, darker maybe less saturation saturation yeah uh, let's add here this shader And of course I will try to make the same color of material around this uh, around this uh, uh, balcony. I will delete part of the situation. I will change the color a little bit with a hue. And of course I will uh, move. Uh, gamma but I think I will move it higher because I would like to make it lighter I like this probably that's not good time for uh, moving exposure but I feel I need to do it right now that's why I do it uh, okay let's go next I will add um, the shader to this uh, uh, what the name of this element umbrella I, I remember umbrella Guys, uh, please try to be polite on the chat because we will block you. Like right now. Um, I will add translucency here. And I will, of course, I will change the color to a little bit warmer. course not yellow but I will copy it here lighter something like this and I here I see the shadows of the palm trees it looks good yeah uh, of course I will change the color of the pool it should be a little bit of yellow too um, let's add here not not too much of the color I like this connection but colors connection uh, color connected to each other so this color looks exactly like this and they are connected and it should be exactly like this oh he here the problem 
it's of course we should solve it somehow uh, but I like it here here looks pretty good I think um, I think I will just delete a few polygons here I will connect twice here. I will connect a few times, however, one to three, three times here. Let's check how it looks. Of course, we can open it. Of course, we can update it, but it will be updated just uh, just when the render starts. I'm sure I need to do grass lower and smaller because it's too high. Oh. Uh, I think I will do it with the uh, geometry. For example, 70. Yeah, I think it's enough. Of course, I, I should do it closer to each other. Let's do 10,000. I think that that will be enough. Yeah, here looks bad. Better. Yeah. Let's go next. Let's go next. Of course, uh, I don't like this. Um, transparent moments but of course I will change it a little bit uh, I will change it in a <laughs> different way I will copy this wall of the greenery uh, and we will have two of these walls and that's how we fix this moment of course in the real situation we uh, we will have something behind this green wall, but not right now. Oh, excuse me. Why I'm don't use I'm not using um, splines. I'm using splines, but for a little bit more difficult uh, situation. Right now, it's not so important uh, for me. Delete these polygons much more easier than uh, add some splines, connect them, try. Do, do not forget uh, the spline when I do something with the scene here I like a little bit more because more I, I receive more of light yeah this uh, left element should be bigger Right now it looks much more uh, fresh, 
probably I like it much more. Uh, let's go next. Let's go next. Let's work with the shaders of the. Uh, I'm a little bit afraid of these bushes. They're too too uh, too dark. That's why I will work with them first of all. Uh, so I will check. I will. I will try to select all of them. Select similar. Escape of out save. Uh, and uh, I will add all of these models. Oh, one more thing. Bash. This is a bash. I will add in the middle of the scene sphere somewhere here and i will add this uh material exactly this one to this sphere i will uh, take this uh, material from this scene a lot of times uh, so i will take it here this will be the main material for me uh, for this scene and of course i will copy it and i will delete original shader to do not uh, change it. Uh, okay, let's go to to take this shader. It can takes time. No, just three shaders here. Mm, probably select similar. Yeah, I will add. Uh, I will accept them. Yeah, and right now I will uh, change the color of the leaves. For example, for example, I can uh, add the same shader here uh, because I don't need all of these textures. I don't need. Uh, I don't see textures here at all. Uh, and of course, I will copy this uh, shader and I will add. Uh, here one more and uh, I will work exactly with this uh, shader what exactly I would like to do here uh, I, I I will try to make it lighter of course because right now it's too dark for me and it should be a little bit lighter like maybe like this maybe more I'm not sure about it and maybe not so colorful maybe less saturation and uh, one impo most important thing here uh, this color should be uh, comparable with all other colors this is most important thing probably we can uh, we can uh, we can uh, not uh, go back to the uh, to the texture maybe add the uh, opacity maybe add the uh, no corona normals but everything else it looks good let's add it let's do it lighter too maybe maybe not so maybe not so high maybe warmer because it a little bit too cold when we change the uh, hue of uh, image, color change too. Right now it looks good. Uh, I see the color of the branches and this, that looks good. I don't see any result to uh, any, any, any need to change it. So let's add here opacity. And of course, I will add here normal. Uh, of course, I can add here uh, color, but this is um, I will I will show you some small my own trick. I'm absolutely sure this is this is not only my trick, but uh, uh, first of all, I will. Uh, try to uh, change this color with the color correction 
uh, to make it uh, make it looks nice and closer to or other colors here. So that mean I think a little bit brighter, a little bit warmer. And later I will uh, I will show you. It is difficult to explain for me. I will add more such saturation. Maybe a little bit warmer. I'm not sure which side I need to move this hue uh, point. Maybe here. No, not here. <laughs> here is not too. Oh, I don't like it. Never mind. Let's let's go back. And I will add one more stupid thing, absolutely stupid, but you will like it for sure. Uh, of course, I will change the color of translucency because this is not absolutely not what I need. Why not changed? Oh, here is a little bit better. Okay, let's leave it in this position, but of course I will change it in this way. Here I will leave just 20% 20, 20 of this. Of both of these uh, colors. For what I uh, leave them. 20% this is uh, pretty low, not so enough. Uh, for small difference between leaves, that will give us for a big resolution, huge, uh, huge, uh, not huge, but small difference between, between leaves, that will be enough for us. Yeah, uh, let's work with the, uh, with the bushes here because it's too too strong, uh, too, too dark, I think. Uh, let's copy it again. And I will choose uh, one of these colors, uh, one of these bushes. Of course, I should push this button. Of course, this looks like uh, this is long work, but in uh, two hours, maybe two and a half, huh, uh, in a, uh, two hours we have ready a nice scene. Oh, this, uh, uh, this uh, bash looks good for here, for this scene. I will just a little bit, uh, I will make it a little bit not so bright full. I will do saturation less and I will leave this color, why not, because it looks good. So this is just a, I will add here color correction. So my main point, uh, you should walk uh, one by one, not work with whole scene in the same moment. First of all, we should we work with the geometry, only with geometry, we build whole scene with geometry. Uh, not only put here one palm and try to uh, add some sunlight. This is, of course, this is a mistake. When we work step by step, it's much better than we work in with every, 
element in the same moment. Maybe, uh, maybe I will make it mm, warmer and maybe lighter. You know, different direction. Yeah, here it looks a little bit better. And a little bit lighter, something like 1.3. Yeah, here it looks better. Maybe I will... <laughs> yeah, looks good. Looks good. I think I will change the color of the grass later and uh, it will look better together. I will add grass here too because this is pretty small. Oh no, grass is the pretty huge, um, pretty huge um, shader. I remember it. Here is one million, uh, one million different uh, elements inside grass. That's why I I don't will uh, use uh, use it. I will work only with the color. It will be better. Believe me. Because we will wait right now 10 minutes when uh, during this uh, shader comes here. Of course, I will uh, push it, push this button. Of course, I need um, change. Uh, material material on the in inside forest pack about uh, my about my monitor I will I will tell you in the end of a workshop because I I should check and of course I will clear material here and I will make it, I will change it a little bit, not so saturated. Mm, maybe darker, a little bit darker. Yeah, here it looks nice. And render pretty fast. This is very important thing. Let's go next. Uh, let's work with the uh, left side bash. This one. I don't remember is it big much shader or not. No. Mm, not now. Uh, let's take this uh, shader again. Because I uh, and let's add this both of these uh, object to the ex exception. Yeah, looks awesome. Of course, uh, I will. I will add here this color. I think I will broke this line too and I will uh, make this color again. This is small steam between uh, trunk and leaf and I'm not sure we need some special color on it. Uh, of course I will break all these lines I will delete this shader and I will add here opacity of course I will do this because I need uh, because this object on the first uh, uh, on the first type of view side of view uh, and I will add the uh, bump here for sure this is not too big but I will see it uh, and of course I will add it to the diffuse but uh, 
not more than 10%, something like this. To make the different color of different leaves. Yeah, it will look much better. Probably I'm not sure I need uh, to add here some special translucency because I like this translucency. Oh, oh, okay, I will add this translucency color here and um, make it with, uh, of course, less than right now, maybe 50, but, but 50 is too much too, but uh, I would like to check how much too much. I think less than 10 will be five it will be enough because I don't like this uh, extra color of the of the flowers I need to delete it or work without them I will delete them delete translucency shader because oh looks nice and of course, ah, yeah, right now I understand I, I, I did usual mistake. I change the original uh, shader. I forget about it and I will do what I will do right now. I will check it again. I will delete all shaders here textures I'll delete it from here and of course I will go back here yeah right now it will be better uh, what's next this palm yeah let's work with this palm because because I like it uh, why not uh, Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Mm -hmm. uh, probably I remember Palm Palm 1. I will uh, I will do different folders for different palms because here are a lot of textures and it will be faster if I will work with a separate uh, folders. Yeah, like like here. And of course, I will. Oh, that's okay, but I would like to work with different one on the uh, first side. Exactly this. Yeah. I remember the shaders all on this palm was nice. From the scratch, not from the scratch, from the, from the, from the, regional, with the regional shaders. Let's add, uh, let's add it here. Yeah, that is looks good. Uh, only one thing I would like to change. This is a color of the trunk. Uh, too, uh, he's too too dark. Uh, usually, trunk somewhere. Maybe first. Maybe second one shader. Yeah, second one. And I will make it uh, lighter. And sometimes I add uh, follow here. 
because the sides of the trunk should be lighter than middle of the trunk. Nobody care about it, but this is important for um, bark looking. Mm -hmm. Maybe not so bright, maybe 1.5 or 4.45. But here is look good. I will not change it at all. Uh, let's go bash two. I will work with these uh, lower palms. Here I don't like these holes. Of course, I will uh, cover it somehow. Here is a lot of textures, uh, of course, all of them I will not, of, co of course, not all of them, but most of them I will change a little bit. This is not difficult work, but uh, you should, you should do this for sure. Uh, of course, I would like to make um, uh, trunks lighter. Uh, because right now it's too dark here. We should wait. Because computer are thinking about it. Uh, too, too much uh, of reflection, uh, yeah, a lot of work here, a lot of, uh, let's, let's do this and guys, please be careful with this, uh, let's check, uh, maybe work with the leaves firstly, this is a leaf, yeah, I will delete some of them. This is a leaf, yeah. Yeah. Where where else? For example, this one. Oh, pretty a lot of, mm. difficult to work with so different elements. Okay, let's, let's try to do something with this. Of course we will. This is not so, uh, not most difficult thing in the world, but never mind. We should work. We should try to work with this. Of course, I will copy it. Of course, I will uh, add this shader uh, in everywhere here. Uh, and I will try to find the, the way how to solve this problem because I don't like this trunk connected to the leaves this is not usual situation for us this is the leaf usually uh, the trunk this is a part of the trunk not about not the part of the trees of course i, I remember this problem oh here is it a few a few leaves in the uh, somewhere here. Okay, Le let's let's work with it. Let's try to add here some diffuse color, and I will check is it right or or not. Yes, it, this is right. 
uh, color correction. Of course, I already have the reflection. Uh, I'm not sure I need anything else. Maybe bump for a huge uh, resolution like uh, uh, four four thousands, maybe five thousands uh, pixels of of ready image. Let's do it. Let's move gum. I, I would like to change the color of the trunk first of all. First of all, let's go on. Make do it white. No, maybe this is some mistake. Woohoo! Thank you. Of course, we will. Uh, re reopen this scene and continue our work. Don't be afraid about. Oh, I don't know why. Ah, uh -huh. that's why. Thank you. Goodbye. I hope the textures, mm, the way ways for textures not broken. For sure not, because I already have it to, to my folder. Uh, everything is okay. I hope my uh, scene is saved. But never mind this usual situation with the 3D Max. Everybody know this. Never mind, we almost finish our scene. Uh, just two models we need to change most difficult of course shaders palms and um, uh, high bashes but never mind here is it everything's okay what's your cpu for spark external files yes my cpu is uh, I will show you right now. This is it. Uh, Intel i9 10980 XIA. Yeah. Coke sponsor. Ah. My wife is sponsor. Coke, this is just just a drink. Let's wait in a little bit. Maybe I can answer to your question if you have some of them. If you have them uh what is my monitor size? Uh, this is 20, 27 inches. Um, uh, I will... I will add here. Why? Here, here you have all the textures. textures. I always... Um, uh, save uh, all textures in the project folder that helps me to solve these kind of problems because if not i will i will need to check every um, every uh, folder with every uh, object of course with uh, some plugins it will be faster but never mind uh, it will be little bit faster uh, then you do it by your own. No, oh, 97. But this is not so important for me right now. This is this um, this is these palms. Uh, uh, about my monitor, my screen. Uh, I think here we need to find Dell U2722D. d This is my screen. Uh, 
I'm glad to see you too. Hello. Everything's okay. Uh, thank you guys. I'm I'm glad to be with you here. Uh, I I have one question. Do you tie red? Uh, I told to save the file. File. I already saved the file and I checked the after back uh, files. They already they they saved uh, the file too. Everything was okay. Uh, so, and after Max crash, they asked me about, uh, about saving the file, so everything's okay, nothing, nothing, uh, nothing happens almost, we just lose, lost five minutes or something like this. Yeah, let's go next, we should, uh, we should start to work with, uh, Let's try to work with only with a model, not with the um, uh, background gradient. We don't need the we don't need the camera. Or render. Yeah. Let's check. Yeah, this is exactly this shader. But I'm not sure this is... Uh, <laughs> what we can do with this? We'll check something. Let's... Let's let's work with this only with this shader model. It's going to be longer stream. Mm, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, this is not about speed. This is about uh, uh, everybody of us understand that three hours for doing this kind of scene. This is this is. Yeah, I don't know. This is a faster project in uh, all our lives. So that means if I have possibility to give you something uh, during this um, during this stream, uh, that's great. And if you um, if you will um, uh, if you will try to hear me carefully, uh, you will know everything a lot of things. Because I have a lot of experience and of course I would like to give it to you. That's why I'm here. So this is not about time. Time not most important thing in our lives. I think I will add another shaders here because I don't like this blue color of course I can change it to to the gray but never mind and I don't like it with the gray too next shaders and both of these shaders should be here so this is from here this is from here yeah this shader is this yeah uh okay let's work with it uh m why i can't ah uh, that's why that's why just 10 percent Mm -hmm. That looks much better. <laughs> of course not, but this is a way how to do it lighter. Uh, 
very important thing for me guys uh, you are, you should understand this uh, i'm not uh, uh, the person who would like just uh, do my uh, do my stuff very fast and uh, look how i can do this uh, this is absolutely ready scene of course i understand how to build the scene during 30 minutes something like of course uh, everything of this will be with pre uh, with the ready models with the ready elements uh, and this will be not true because i show you how to work with the real object with the real uh, situation with the real everything because uh, when you will take this scene in the end you will put your architecture in this scene render it and you will receive uh, your ready final uh, project your own ready project in the three hours I think this is a good result probably so that's you should understand this I would like to really give you something, something impor important for this, for this profession. I will add here some translucency color. That's why I'm asking to share, uh, to share with uh, your friends, with your social networks, sh social media. Uh, information about us about this workshop because uh, a lot of people should to know about us this is very important of course I will copy the opacity I will add here uh, opacity and I will add the corona bump this is most important thing because uh, next element will be faster. I think we will spend may maybe 20 minutes more and everything will be finished. So don't be afraid about it. Let's check it with the whole scene. I do it. I do lighter uh, this uh, uh, trunk of the of the looks good, but too too brown. I think I I should make it not so colorful. I will add here. Come on, guy. Every time I add color correction, it's think too long. Diana, exactly. We're here for a great result. That's more most important thing. A great result you will receive when, when you understand what you're doing. Not like special settings. Because I know a lot of people would like to receive some special um, ready settings of Corona render. And render will go faster and uh, some best loot for working this is not about loot this is about understanding you should know this that's why we spend so much time here yeah that looks good but of course i would like to make it lighter much lighter because it's still dark still too dark I'm not happy with the leaves because uh, I think this is a strange situation when you uh, can connect the leaves and some part of the trunk in the same shader. Of course, this is difficult to fix something inside this. Um, and I'm not sure I need to. Ah, I need to add, uh, add translucency because I need uh, this for for the leaves. 
of course this is most difficult situation uh, here let's add here some fluff because for for the trunk I should use it for sure I will I will use it for sure yeah of course right now he think too long this is boring but we should do this try to be strong please this is important in real situation it will help you yeah right now it looks much more nice uh, I think I will make it lighter here go to advanced one point five maybe maybe lighter I'm not sure yeah that looks good of course I don't like the color of the leaves but for sure we need to divide this model we should uh, divide this uh, uh, model to two different shaders it will be will looks better but who cares and of course I would like to hide uh, to hide these holes because uh, I, because I didn't like them let's do this uh, I think I will add here some extra palms maybe a few few palms maybe one Maybe one will be enough. Uh, let's let's try to check. Uh, what are the application your taskbar? Which one? I have uh, uh, a few of them, but nothing special. Ah, uh, on the left side, this is um uh phoenix uh probably this is um some tools uh, some plugins with uh coming with the uh, v-ray i buy uh all license uh not only v-ray but all uh cows group uh stuff and that's why i, I have them have them here little bit better but not not enough with usual trees of course it's easier because you can uh, put just maybe three maybe two uh, usual trees uh, in the on the background and it, that will be enough but I can say you this is a difficult scene I build it not from first uh, not from first time Here it looks better. Uh, I would like to cool. fix this place because I don't like this. Uh huh. Here it looks bad. Looks better. Here is uh, reflections. Yeah, with the light uh, trunks looks much better. And uh, if you if you can see. Uh, here we have uh, the same trunk color of the palm and of this palm too. Uh, that's good because uh, this is uh, in this case we have uh, uh, connect 
the colors of different part of the image. This is very important thing. Let's move this element somewhere, somewhere here because it's a little bit not not okay. Uh, let's go next to another leaves of this palm because of course we should uh, should work with them. Not not too much, but we, we will. We should. Uh, here is. Uh, here is some different trunk. I will not touch it. I will work with the, this one. And of course I will delete. Why so big problem to work with you guy? Uh, I'll save. Let's add here 100. Let's add here um, opacity, of course, bump. And I will add translucency, translucency color. Let's check where, where it will be. Yeah. Uh, and uh, probably every time we can delete the uh, the this line and uh, check where exactly with uh, what shader we exactly work right now. If you not sure about it, for example, this one. Yeah. Here you can see some trouble uh, inside the uh, leaves. Of course, we can. Uh, we will. We need to uh, check it and change it. Oh, translucency. Let's let's go to the 100. Yeah, and of course, I will change it with a color correction. Yeah, uh, let's work. I I I think with the front front side of the leaf. I here uh, I will uh, put here zero, and that mean I will work only with the front side color. I will uh, do this uh, uh, this type of uh, color of the leaf. I like. And later I will add translucency because translucency this is second point. Second step, second stage. Yeah. Here is looks a little bit more comfortable to see. And uh, of course I I will have possibility to uh, add the same shader to another uh, leaves because all of them are similar I think let's work with the um, with the translucency color of course I don't like it it should to be more yellow, more less saturation, maybe lighter. Yeah, lighter for sure, but maybe not. It looks pretty, pretty good. Natural, natural and good. Maybe front side I will make darker. Because I need it. Maybe 0, 080. Zero point eight, yeah. Yeah, here it looks a little bit better. Let's try to uh, add this shader to another leaves, something like here. I think it will looks good. For example, here. 
uh, maybe darker translucency yeah right now I understand this is too bright and a little bit more saturated probably I'm not sure what's going on here and I don't like this uh, element maybe I will move it a little bit to the right because some mess here maybe this is inside the inside the model this is not about two different models this is inside one model and uh, about this uh, color this is our shader which we use uh, with the trunk unfortunately I can't explain why the uh, uh, the guy who built this model do this for me this is very strange let's add oh let's check I would like to check which am I right about yeah exactly I am absolutely right Control Z yeah but I'm not sure why I don't see any translucency here let's add here for example um, maybe no any light on this model may ah uh, maybe we need to use uh, special textures on this models uh, that's that's why yeah yeah absolutely sure let's work with them because of mapping i think let's add here bump of course this is a little bit more difficult than uh, just put here the same oh it's not bump this is opacity much more easier to um, to say something like just add model from the from the some uh, catalog and that's enough but probably that's not enough in real life let's check where this shader are somewhere here yeah yeah that's one let's do it brighter let's try to work with the same color like here here I will try to work with uh, the same ideas yeah right now we will fix everything here because we will work with the last one shader and this is most important thing uh, most important shader of uh, the ab about uh, about uh, leaves let's of course let's add opacity let's add bump Mm -hmm. For example, these three. Probably I like them. 
translucency color. Probably I like them. Why not? Looks good. Maybe a little bit darker. Maybe not little bit, but it will make him more colorful. Maybe not so high translucency here, because it will make it yeah, a little bit more natural, I think. Let's leave it in this way. Uh, and of course, these palms. This is most, uh, not difficult, but most um, big shader. But, very important thing. Uh, almost every leaf here is the same shader. So we can uh, do only one shader of the leaves and uh, copy it uh, everywhere and everything will be okay. Uh, and uh, the same as before, we can... Uh, change the trunk color and that will be enough let's try to do it i will add some color correction and we will finish everything We should wait uh, this shader. If you have some questions, you can ask me right now and I will have possibility to answer you. But probably I like this. Uh, I like the, almost everything from, from this, uh, from this uh, shader, but I don't like the reflection of it. It's too, too bright. Too bright, for sure. It should be darker. Trunk is good. Here is to dark element, and I don't like these gray uh, leaves. I think I uh, they should be green too. And that's that's all. Let's check where them. But of course it will. Yeah, here is here is some dark element. But this is not what I'm talking about, but of course, okay, I will add Karanako color correction. Uh, and I will do it a little bit uh, less saturated. And I will add some advanced and I will do it like 1.7 and it will be lighter. Yeah, and that's enough. What's next? Leaf 1. Here we start work with the leaves. Leaf 2 leaf three leaf four i will delete all, all of them i will use only one leaf for a uh, whole palm i i don't know why of course for some clothes uh, since we should have it this is a fruit this is called coconut uh fruit two so that's okay fruit three fruit four leaf that this is dead leaves this is, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know how to explain this, so let's, let's, let's check it. This is this element, but I, I don't see where exactly. So let's, let's go back, let it, let it leave. This is next. 
thing. Maybe this one I would like to. Yeah. Uh, no. Mm. Oh, here already have color correction. And of course I will make less saturation and I will make it lighter. Yeah, right now it's more comfortable to see this. Oh, that, that leaves, yellow leaves. Six, seven, eight, nine, leaf ten. Yeah, all of them I will delete, probably. Uh, I, I will leave only one shader with the leaves and they will work only with one leaf. Uh, I will I will leave one of them because I will use uh, the textures from from it and I will add this shader to all let's move it some some somewhere something like here it will be a little bit comfortable more comfortable. And here is green, he is green, he is much more nice and of course I, I will change it, I will do less of reflection here. Because of reference of course, because I don't have uh, this uh, kind of yellow leaves on the reference, I don't need them, That that's why I, I, I would like to change it. Um, let's work with a reflection because we don't have so huge reflection here. Uh, I'm not sure I need to, to have some special maps here because probably I don't see any result of them. And of course, I will just do the less of reflection of course here it looks much better uh, I will add here some color correction it's much more easier than I think about it first of all um, maybe let's move on I will delete all um, reflection I will take this color from the from our main shader copy I will put it here okay and I will make it darker and not so brightful The same as in the reference. You always should check reference. Eighty five, maybe. <clears throat> yeah, here looks better, but not so saturated. Mm hmm. And not so reflected because uh, if we do darker diffuse, it will mm, uh, it will have more reflections. Yeah, now it looks more natural. Of course, I will delete this one and I will copy this color correction probably I can I can try with uh, this color 
without anything. Zero point five. Of course, it's too too bright, too bright for the palms. little bit maybe less of sit saturation guys are you alive yeah your looks much more natural yeah I think I will leave it in uh, in here. Maybe, of course, I would like to find this shader because I don't like it. It's like dirty thing inside good model. Yeah, it's fun. Yes, I am alive. Yes, yes, yes. That's great. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Three hours. Three hours and a half. Holy shit. I was thinking that will be something like two, maybe two and a half, maximum three, but... But... This is real life, real scene. What do you want? Everything's okay. Like in real life. Let's work. Let's leave it in this this way. Yeah. Maybe to green, maybe twelve. I would like to make it a little bit like yellow. Yeah, like here. Mm -hmm. Uh what's next? I will delete this one, of course. Uh let's try to ah mm, pull. I would like to work with a pool a little bit. I will add here uh, stone, some stone, and some uh, tiles. Because uh, and of course and because of, uh, I would like to change uh, to work a little bit with the water. This is a pretty fast. Don't be afraid of it. Uh, let's add here construction I will show you right now uh, materials general no uh, composite yeah that's what I need uh, I will check this color because I'm sure I didn't find uh, I don't found find um, this color of the tiles for sure that's why I, I need to uh, I would like to find some tiles on the textures that come and later Maybe not tiles, maybe mosaic. Yeah, maybe like this. I I already was found it. Where are you?
yeah that's exactly what i need uh i already bought this uh, model so or not model texture i will download it on the desktop uh and i will add it exactly here for example here I will add it here yeah and I will uh, with the composite I will change here to the color uh, of course why are you so bright uh, I think I, I should I should make it darker color correction I will make it darker a little bit not a little bit much darker <laughs> yeah of course something like this uh maybe more i'm not sure we will check but i i would like to receive uh, um, pretty dark shader and of course i will add mapping here let it be something like, I don't know, 3 meters, no? Less. Yeah, less, maybe one it gonna help. Yeah, that's look good. And of course I will uh, make it uh, darker. And of course I will make, I will... Uh, I, I don't need 100% of this texture. I need to make it not flat like it was before. Less than 50, maybe 20, 25, 30, something like this. And of course darker and of course I will change a little bit the color. Closer to the, to the uh, blue. And uh, with the uh, with a level darker too. Let's add. Let's do something like fifty, maybe less. Yeah, that's exactly what I need, maybe 70. Because a little bit darker, yeah. Uh, and some marble for the um, uh, side sidewalk. Uh, marble. Let's buy some of them. I probably have a lot of them already because uh, because they work a lot of this website. For example, this one I already bought. I don't like this color, but I I like this one. Yeah. So let's 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 download it. Desktop. Uh, okay, I will edit here. Corona, Corona bitmap. Desktop. Mm, the same mapping, it's okay for me. And uh, this is uh, uh, seems less texture, so I I don't need to do anything with it. Maybe some color correction, but this is not so not so difficult. But probably I don't see any any changes on it, or this is just about just about me. Yeah, probably we have this texture. Okay, uh, let's try to make it uh, darker with the. Uh, Albedo, yeah, it will be better. 
and of course I will change the color a little bit because it's too red. Yeah, that's pretty better. Uh, of course I can download the, the bump texture for this model, but I don't I don't want to do the oh bugs. Uh, I will add add it here too. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe a little bit of reflection because I, I would like to see some reflection here. But I don't. Yeah, here lo looks better. Of course, I will make it a little bit lighter because it's pre pretty too much. Yeah, here is here here is good. And uh, of course, not so colorful. Yeah, here is better because this is not main object of the scene. Uh, but looks really great and uh, we don't use any any mapping here uh, that's why w we can start uh, first of all we can try to to add some lot here probably um, I never have some special lots but sometimes it looks good oh that looks nice That looks nice, but of course too strong for us, but I can uh, make less exposure and uh, uh, less of saturation, it will look good. But I will try all of them and later I can go back to some of them. Here is some shit. No, I, I don't like anything of this. No, I don't like these lots. So let's work with the. Uh, uh, let's work with the. Uh, filmic mapping. Yeah. A little bit darker shadows. Uh, maybe curves yeah curves it's always I don't know I I, I feel the curves better than everything else yeah here it looks better Yeah, and that looks great. I'm absolutely happy with this result. Maybe like this. Yeah. And as I say in the beginning of the workshop, we should uh, we should uh, change the um, uh, color of uh, visible background. Oh, one more thing. Uh, the um, water. Of course, we need to add some glass, uh, some bump here. Um, excuse me, I almost forget about it. Uh, add here some noise to the water. I I always use turbulence. I always use tan. Of course, I should make it smaller. Something like maybe 30, 20, maybe less. And of course, not so powerful because right now it's like tsunami on it here is too strong still too strong maybe like this but I don't know probably yeah think that looks maybe enough maybe maybe smaller again smaller uh, blah, blah, blah. where is the size here 
five. It's too small. Maybe 50, 15. Yeah, I think that's that looks exactly what I need. I think. Yeah, it looks really uh, good and realistic. Maybe a little bit higher uh, reflection because I would like to have a little bit brighter reflection. Yeah, that's uh, that looks good. And what next? Uh, I would like to add here um, black um, black background. Why? Uh, because if I save this image, uh, for example, I will show you this mistake. PNG, for example, one to three. This is not important. Desktop. Uh, PNG al alpha channel because I would like to add here some background. Uh, of course, I will receive some problem. Very usual trouble in usual work. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, I will show you right now. For example, if I will use uh, black color of the background, I will have this white uh, white things. Yeah, I don't like it. Of course, uh, of course, I will um, I will use not uh, black color on the on the background. Of course, it will be lighter. But never mind, if I will add some gradients until like from white to the uh, middle middle blue or something something like like this one and I will add some gradient here. Uh, never mind, I will still see this trouble. This is a big trouble for me that that's why I I will need to add uh, directly visibly uh, black color. And in the end of this render, everything will be okay. But uh, of course, th that works if you uh, don't use some special background. Because uh, if uh, if you are, you will have now this problem. Uh, so let's uh, do the. Let's add here some. Uh, let's add here some uh, some 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 denoising. Corona high quality. Let's add here some final resolution, something like not final, of course, but 3000. That's enough for our render. What else I need to do? Uh, time limit, I think, uh, if this real project, but right now for us, this is not so important. This is uh, in minutes, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe not do this, maybe 300. Uh, oh no! It's, excuse me. This is not not right. Uh, pass limit. Yeah, of course. Let's do it in the you know, three hundred passes. It, that will be enough. Yeah, and I will start the uh, final render without anything else. Uh, I think we will spend. Um, uh, I think we will spend something like. Do you see this? This is our render. This is our. Um, this is our reference. This is our end that we do. We do just in a three hours. Of course, a little bit more than three hours. But never mind. I talk a lot. You know, uh, this is a probably difficult to talk and uh, to explain something. Uh, this longer than thinking and do the same. Uh, but we have a great result, uh, in my opinion. Uh, right now we will render it a little bit and uh, in a few minutes, I think in a five, in a seven minutes, we will go to post-production and, and I will uh, do some small color, color correction with this image. So wait a little bit, uh, we will continue our work with this project. Uh, during we wait uh, the, uh, this uh, render, I will show you, uh, I would like to... Uh, Propose you go to our um, big uh, course. This is my own course called Professional Visualization. 
this course exactly for guys who already work uh, in uh, computer graphics with uh, 3d graphics uh, we didn't we do not talk about uh, basics some how to build the boxes how to <coughs> fix some usual problems we are working exactly how to build all an awesome images images like this one i can talk a lot about um about everything but about uh, how how our course are awesome how the everything is uh, fine here but most of Mo the greatest uh, result this is a result of our students this is result of our student during the course not after course not before course exactly on the course uh, so if you have no possibility to do images like this one but you want to do this welcome to us and you will receive this result i absolutely uh, sure about it. I'm not sure I will give you this result. You will work exactly with me uh, We will work during five weeks every day online uh, I am online every day three times in a day. We will have online sessions uh, When I will show some special situation after all mm, this online will online uh, We will online class we will uh, spend unlimited time for answering to your question and talking about computer graphics so we will have pretty huge uh, and great time for improving your skill for enhancing your skill to doing your render looks like this one exactly like this one not like uh, like like usual situation when uh, somebody uh, tell you something or propose you something but inside goes something wrong uh, we are working I work exactly exactly I am working exactly with you uh, so this is important thing just look on these images that's great and of course on the course we work with uh, uh, different render systems uh, Corona of course first of all Corona but um, uh, VRA2, FStorm2, mm, we work with the, we work with the understanding, we work with your brain without your understanding how to, how to build the beautiful image. This is most, most important thing. Just, <clears throat> just look to this image. Uh, please, right now, uh, Antonina send you a link, you can check uh, everything on this landing please read it carefully and uh, if you will give us your uh, phone number today till, till the end of this day uh, but probably i think you, some 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 of you have um, uh, already meet y uh, tomorrow <laughs> so that means uh, i think you have uh, three hours more uh, to uh, send uh, send us your uh, uh, send us your phone number uh, and we will call you tomorrow in the working hours and uh, we will tell you more about our course if everything okay we will we will propose you join us of course with a better price than you see on the website uh just uh, give us your phone number and tomorrow we will call you in the working hours i think that's enough you absolutely understand what what's going on uh that will be our first english language uh, workshop before this we spend from from 2015 uh so this is uh so almost seven years we uh, give the we do the courses with the russian language right now we decide to change it uh because of war because in our ukraine right now it goes war and uh, work we, we would like to change the market and right now the best the best time for this so uh if you if you would like to join us right now that's the best time that the results 
of our students during only one course not one not last the best works from the last seven years no this is all works from one course every student who finished the work are here so uh i think you understand me well you have the link uh let's go to the to our render let's stop it of course um, we need to have some time for uh, denoising uh, denoising is already start uh, I think how many passes total 15 passes of course this is not enough this is not final result but uh, pro probably the noiser works well not the best in the world, but I like this result. Uh, maybe uh, the noise in I will mm, make it higher. Yeah, it looks good. I like it. Probably uh, I have no any problem with the noiser. Uh, of course, here is some problem about the noiser. Let's leave it a little bit. Uh, maybe a little bit of bloom glare. But little bit not so um, uh, I think I will make it something like two or three something like yeah uh, and bloom intensity I will make much lower mm-hmm yeah uh, let's check denoising because uh, corona denoiser 3d max denoising much better than um, uh, much better than uh, uh, F, uh, Photoshop denoiser, sharpen amount, a little bit higher. Yeah, here is here is good. I don't touch blur uh, because he should be, and of course I will save it. Uh, desktop, blah blah blah. Uh, PNG save alpha channel of course and later we will wait of course because it should to be saved yeah uh, and I right now I will open it here of course we will lost some some part of contrast so that mean we will we need to add it uh, uh, I will I will show you how look the background in this case yeah here is not we don't have this problem and with the white color we don't have this problem too so that the that the uh, possibility to solve it uh, I will duplicate this layer uh, I will do this one soft light of course it's too much of contrast but this is not important for me right now I will work with a high pass I will add uh, here biggest radius I think maybe not so yeah here it looks most nice yeah here I receive the most powerful image uh, I would like to receive. Uh, maybe I will delete some part of the color of it. No, no, with the color better. Of course, uh, okay, uh, duplicate layer, main layer, of course. Uh, here I will add this soft light again and I will um, add less, maybe 10% now. yeah right now it's better i think maybe curves i add curves and uh put it to this exactly to this layer not to all of uh uh no not for all of these layers just for this one yeah and i will try to to make it not so contrast mm 
yes i would like delete part of this result yeah yeah here i like much more uh and uh, about background of course first of all i uh i will go to the uh text to scum and i will land the scape uh -huh. uh, land the scape mm -hmm. my english is absolutely awesome But never mind, we are talk we are not about English language. We are about I like this one. Uh, and probably I was uh, take this image bef when I when I when I do it first time. Yeah. Here's this one. Okay. Windows doesn't work with this. This is new Windows number 11, yeah, and probably this is shit. Let's move it here. Let's find some nice place here. Why not? Here, here is nice, why not? Yeah. Uh, and of course I will add here the same colors like uh, like I need uh, I will take this color and I will take this color uh, oh is it okay yeah and I will do something like this and I will uh, I will delete some part of uh, the background yeah that looks good maybe a little bit darker maybe not so little bit maybe this is not a little bit <clears throat> Yeah, that looks good. Uh, and of, mm, I think I, I would like to add some curves here. Uh, not exactly here. Uh, on the whole image. Yeah. And make some small... stronger higher part maybe with the first one uh, I will I will try to yeah that's more comfortable for for me right now I don't know why I would like add here some sharpness or maybe not Uh, okay, maybe I would like add see here some curves exactly for this level and I will move the middle of the image a little bit lighter. Yeah feels a little bit more comfortable and I think I will add here um, saturation maybe this one
yeah right now i like this image and that's final result that's everything i want to show you today guys uh that's our result i think we absolutely close to uh our reference uh of course about mood of course about um uh, feeling of this uh probably i i know very well i like more little bit more warmer greenery uh th this is my style this is how i feel the emotion of the images that's why my image little bit more warmer i know this this is my uh type of work i know everything of this that's nothing special uh this is our reference this is our render and uh, we receive this mood right now we can change here architecture from this uh, some some something neutral to exactly our uh, special architecture we, we receive from our architect and of course uh, put here our model that will be uh, much faster than um uh, try to uh try to f um, imagine how that should looks how uh which models will be there uh of course this is faster uh and better result for in in the for this time yeah so guys uh that's everything right now uh i i am ready to answer your question but i don't see any questions i understand you are tired we are almost four hours here this is pretty too much yeah uh, but uh never mind we do we do the great job uh when render looks more realistic than photography uh not realistic uh, maybe more uh better of course i like it i like it more then render of course because um because uh, i do it like i uh, like uh, like i like yeah not like uh, it happens in real life because in real life i can't uh, move the uh, palm to another place in uh, in the render of course i can that's that's why you should uh, understand how how you should to think uh, with the with the work so please uh check carefully our link to uh to the course because this is most great thing you should uh you should do to improve your skills uh right now for sure uh if you have uh any questions about it please send us your uh, phone number we will call you tomorrow and we will answer all your questions about about course we will help you to understand is it good for you or not and if yes we will help you to join us so uh, thank you guys we will finish today and uh, see you next time uh, we will have one more uh, we will have one more uh, workshop and uh, Mm, and after this after next workshop we will start the course so today is uh, the best time for join us because after last workshop we usually don't give any discounts so please uh, join us exactly today uh that's everything what i would like to say you today and we finish for today thank you bye bye